What's up, YouTube? I'm back with my shitty camera, so you can expect tons of low-quality shit. But uh, I'm here today to talk about Up Church and Shotgun Shane. So Up Church and Shotgun Shane started going at it. Fucking Up Church calls him Nerf Gun Ned because he don't want to pay attention to Shotgun Shane. He doesn't want people to know who Shotgun Shane is because then Up Church fans are going to go check out Shotgun Shane. You know, that's how beef works. Fucking, that's how everybody is. That's why you try not to name drop unless it's fucking getting crazy or whatever. Fucking Shotgun Shane dropped the whole diss track on Up Church after a series of videos calling him fake, saying he sold out and all that shit. And saying he don't care about other artists and all that. As an artist, I can see both sides. Shotgun Shane is trying to be on the come up. He's trying to become the next big thing. And he thought Up Church would be able to help him do that. Well, Up Church is on the top and he don't want him to lose his spot. Upchurch doesn't want songs to come out that he doesn't think are worth coming out. And Upchurch and fucking Shotgun Shane did a whole project together. Well, three songs together at least that we know about. Three songs back in, I believe, 2016, something like that. Band Play, who is normally Upchurch's producer, was the, uh, the engineer behind it, produced everything, made the beats. The thing is, Shotgun Shane is a different kind of rap than Upchurch. So they do have different fan bases. Upchurch definitely has a way bigger one. He's almost at 900,000 subscribers right now on YouTube. Um, Shotgun Shane's at like 80,000. Shotgun Shane, I remember when Square Body Chevy came out, everybody was listening to that. But Upchurch stole all the light real fast and he was just fucking caught on fire. So Upchurch, Shotgun Shane, they were both two fucking upcoming rappers. Shotgun Shane kind of got left behind and he's trying to get back up there. And the only thing that I can think of with this is Up Church is holding on to his throne and that's okay. That's what you got to do as an artist. You don't want somebody else to take it. And I'm not even saying Shotgun Shane can take it. Up Church makes so much varied music. He makes rock, country, and rap. Shotgun Shane just sticks to the auto tuned country rap. And yeah, there's a couple Shotgun Shane songs I like, but there's only like a couple. I got four songs by him in my playlist right now. I got every song Up Church has ever dropped. Except for fucking uh, King of Dixie, because that never came on Apple Music for whatever reason. This really reminds me of uh, Up Church and Hoser. Because Hoser was a rapper that was supposed to be on the come up in the country scene. And he thought Up Church would be giving him a hand with that. But apparently Hoser wasn't paying people and shit like that. And making threats and talking behind his back and all that. So I don't think it's as extreme as that. But uh, either way, like we saw how that played out. Hoser was getting fucked up. He had Up Church, Adam Calhoun, and uh, who the fuck is Justin Time all going against him. And Adam Calhoun and Justin Time were... On the hoser side at one point, they were all like working together, making music. And that just didn't happen. That didn't work out. I don't know about y'all, but I have not heard anything from hoser since back then. I think his time might already be over. Can that be attributed to uh, Upchurch? Probably. Upchurch and Yellow Wolf. I went on Instagram a couple days ago, and I saw on Yellow Wolf fucking story... Him and Up Church, and I started freaking out. I wanted that to happen so much, and then Up Church was talking about it. He was in the studio with Yellow Wolf. I can't wait to see what happens with that. Up Church says that he grew up listening to Yellow Wolf, and I mean, I grew up listening to Yellow Wolf and Up Church. When Yellow Wolf was initially talking about a uh, Trunk Music Three, if you don't know, Trunk Music is like his big mixtape series. But when he started talking about Trunk Music 3, he was talking about how he had a big fucking surprise guest that everybody was going to love. And I think that could very well be Upchurch. So I'm thinking Upchurch is going to be on TM3. Now, as far as that goes, none of it's set in stone until we see what happens. Shotgun Shane, he dropped a diss. I don't know if Upchurch is going to drop one. I mean, he dropped a video of him, you know, putting his ass on the camera. That was his Nerf gun night diss, but that's okay. Kind of want to hear some lyrics, but that's all right. And I guess we'll have to wait till Trunk Music 3 drops to know if him and Yellow Wolf are on there together, which I sure hope they are. I mean, if Yellow Wolf's on an Upchurch album, that's okay, but it looked like Yellow Wolf invited Upchurch. So that'll probably be on TM3. In other news, my album is almost done. I just gotta wait for 
some features to come back and I got one more song that I gotta record so that will be done real soon I was shooting for another music video the other day that'll be coming soon as well I try not to really voice my opinion on rap beef and shit but that's probably what people want to hear I mean I'm an up church fan first and foremost but I think it'd be a lot better if the two of these guys would just simmer down and fucking work together you make good music by collaborating a lot of the time I don't think Shotgun Shane's trash I think he doesn't go as hard as he should on many songs on the fucking diss I thought he went harder than he has in the last couple months I think the two of them working together is a much better pair than the two of them fucking fighting but that's the human ego you get stubborn and they're not gonna want to work together probably ever again so yeah just hit subscribe hit like share my shit let's get it But now I've got my own songs too I gotta learn those too So today I might stay with my beats And just play and learn each and every bar